My name is Sven Behnke. I'm heading the Autonomous Intelligent Systems Group at University of Bonn, Germany. And the project is called Centauro. Actually, the acronym says it all. It's about a robot that looks like a Centauro and it will go where no man wants to go uh, instead of humans uh, to perform human-like tasks. The motivation for our project are disaster events like the Fukushima earthquake and tsunami where uh, everyone asked when this nuclear power plant spiraled out of control, where are the robots? And it's clear that today's disaster response robots, they are not capable enough in terms of mobility, in terms of their manipulation skills. And our goal is uh, to advance this state of the art, to develop a robot that uh, can perform human-like uh, in very difficult uh, environments that have been affected by a disaster. And the idea is that this robot is not fully autonomous, but uh, that there are human operators, in particular a main operator, who will be telepresent in that robot. So he will feel whatever the robot feels, he will see whatever the robot sees, and then can use tools uh, and manipulate objects, uh, locomote in these uh, difficult environments in order to rescue the situation. And what do you think are going to be the main challenges of your project? I think the main challenge uh, will be uh, to find a good way to combine autonomous functionalities uh, that the robot will perform with uh, the control of the human. So to come up with a system that is kind of symbiotic between uh, the human operator and uh, the autonomous robot such that they both uh, are very effective in solving these tasks. And what do you hope to be the, main, the outcome once it's finished? I do hope that uh, disaster response forces uh, will keep out of harm's way and send the robot instead and that the robot is as effective as uh, human rescue workers today.